Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Sagittarius. If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment, share the content. If that's what you feel like doing, I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katietarot.com. Sagittarius, let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy. Guidance for Sagittarius, please, for the week ahead. Guidance for, guidance for Sagittarius. Guidance for Sagittarius, please. Guidance for Sagittarius. Guidance for Sagittarius. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Guidance for Sagittarius, please. Your energy, Sagittarius, and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. Oh, I like this. The energy of play. Beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry, we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness, gaiety and laughter will lift your energy so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. So this can mean that there is joy. There is a wonderful blessing about to come into your life this week, Sagittarius, if you allow it. Play can mean that you're getting in touch with your inner child, bringing out the creativity that may be laying dormant. Set aside what you've been working on, if you are able to, or at least when you have a break, make sure that you mentally switch off, you emotionally switch off from it, so then you're able to focus on other things, more playful things, more joyous things. More creative things. Yes, I love that. More creative things. I feel this is going to be a wonderful week for you. I feel that there is a beautiful blessing coming through. If you're able to fall into this energy of play, of your inner child, of that inner joy, of that spark, what makes you happy? And you doing that, not just thinking about it, not just having it in your mind or in your heart, but actualizing it, going out and doing it. It may be something larger, maybe taking a trip or traveling somewhere, maybe something smaller, just doing something around the house, playing with your kids, just getting getting back into that innocence, getting back into your joy and maybe taking up a hobby or an interest, something new that you've been putting to the back shelf for a while. Or it may just be being in the moment, being in the moment to allow your inspiration to flow. And what a beautiful energy to start your reading. Let's take a look at your next card. This is very powerful energy. Spiritual evolution. Set your heart free. Wow, so powerful. Spiritual evolution. You're moving toward your true purpose, alignment, your spiritual evolution. You're on this journey already, Sagittarius. So you're conscious of your shadow side. You're conscious of the pitfalls of things you're conscious that you're wanting to align yourself to source energy and to spirit you're you're wanting that consciously now and that is so powerful for your spiritual evolution i'm seeing beautiful energy come towards you spiritually so remain open to that divine inspiration i feel that there is going to be or you will see a miracle offering just for you this week that's the message i'm receiving from spirit so that is coming direct from spirit to you. And it is going to be different for everybody how this manifests in your life. But you will recognize it by this, by your heart feeling free. You will have a lightness. You will have this joy. 
it will feel like your heart has been set free. So that's going to be the telltale sign that spirit has poured this abundance on you, poured this blessing on you. And if you have been trying to manifest something in your life or if you've been praying on something, then this beautiful miracle offering is going to come through for you. That's what I feel. It may take some time or maybe it has already taken some time to get to this point, but it will come through for you. Beautiful energy. Have the energy of discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing and keep your dreams a secret. You may find yourself in a situation this week, Sagittarius, where you have to use your discernment. Someone may not be completely honest with you. There may be a situation you're just not feeling quite right about. Something is not what it seems. You're going to be very clued into this. You will know because you have this deep inner sense. So you will know what to do in that circumstance. And in terms of keeping your dreams a secret, perhaps that's necessary at the moment. Perhaps it's not wise to allow the world or allow your co-workers or your family in on what you're wanting to manifest or your next step and you will know if that re uh, resonates for you let's take a look here stargazing beautiful energy when you gaze at the stars you give yourself fairy focus your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation so this is about going within. This is about following your intuition. This is about your spiritual evolution and being on the right path. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. Yes, it will. So this is part of your, this is going to be a part of your week, Sagittarius. This is very exciting. And if something has been hidden from you, if something is not as it seems in your life and you're feeling that intuitively, you're going to find out what that is or you're going to be able to move freely through that energy this week. You may find out exactly what it is. Some clarity is coming to you. Stargazing. You may find that the night time is very important for meditation or for visions, for psychic ability, for you um, getting back to you. Uh, connecting into spirit and is part of your evolution the moon cycles um, the energy of sitting under the stars sitting under the moon may be very powerful for you you have the energy of the seven the seven of pentacles so i can see that You've been waiting, waiting for a change, waiting for things. You have, you have actually made an effort in a relationship, in your workplace, different for everybody, but I can see you've made an effort and you're waiting for the outcome or you're waiting for the change. And perhaps that's why spirit is saying it's time to walk away or it's time to take a break, maybe not walk away, but it's time to take a break from Take a break from this work, this hard work that you have been focused on and realign yourself and focus on joy, on creativity, on what brings you joy. Because looking at what you have done and being in this energy the whole week is not going to be very satisfying for you. We have the seven of cups. This may mean confusion, but I'm actually seeing that it's Choices that you have. You have choices now with these two cards. What's the next step? Who do you communicate with? Where are you going to go? You have choices available, but you're not quite sure yet or it's not the right time just yet to make the move and you're aware of that. You may need to stay where you are currently just for the moment. We have the Knight of Wands. There may be another fire sign that you are dealing with or that's important in your life the knight of wands is about that movement so if it has been 
if you've been waiting on news, waiting for a change, the Knight of Wands means that things are going to start to shift soon. Either this week or in the weeks to come. The Hermit energy, following your own path. This is a very spiritual card, very spiritual energy. So finding your own path, finding your own way, your own purpose. Maybe you've been waiting for the right time for this to happen, for you to jump into your life's purpose, for you to follow your heart. Well, with this energy here, I see it's very close. Very, very close. And the Wheel of Fortune. Some things may be outside of your control. It may seem that things are... That things are moving in a way that you, well, things are moving. The energy I'm actually feeling for you, Sagittarius, is that you are right here. You're recognizing that you've done work and, and that you have, you're wanting to follow your intuition. You're wanting to move in this direction, but either there's something outside of your control or it's stepping into the unknown that is challenging right now. Now, Spirit is saying that you're, you're going to make some moves here with the Knight of Wands, take some action, or there's going to be perhaps a relocation or something bigger like that for you. Um, if you're able to remain centered when this wheel is turning, then that's going to be your best bet. This can also indicate good luck for you. So this week you may actually find that you have some really good luck on the energies that are around you if you're working with these energies and you're conscious of these energies. So overall, you've got some really nice energy Sagittarius coming in for you. I am sending you much love and light and abundant blessings on your journey this week.